Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand functions in Python. So functions can be defined as a group of code which is used to perform some specific task. Functions bring reusability and modularity in our code. Modularity means we can group some code and paste it on a separate place. Like I have five tasks to perform, like I want to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and mode. So what I'll do, I'll place addition code in one module, subtraction code in another module, multiplication, division in other modules and mode in other module. So in future, if I'm getting any issues in addition, so I know my addition code is giving some error, I'll go to a particular module, I can change it with the help of modularity, my maintenance become easy. Reusability means whenever we want to perform some action, like I want to perform addition on three different places, so I need not to write addition code again and again, I just call addition function. In Python, we can define function by def, function name, and at the end, colon. Def keyword is used to create function. Function body start by colon. All the statements inside the function body must start from the same point, mean we are going to follow indentation. If we want to return some value from the function, then we are going to use return keyword for that. First statement in function is always optional. Means first statement that we are going to write in function is treating as a documentation string. Means that will not execute, it will for the information purpose. By default, all the parameters which we are going to pass in functions is by reference. Means if I change the value in that parameter, original value will also change. Moving to Eclipse, so here I have a PyDev project. Inside the project, I have a start.py file. So here, I'm going to create a function which is dev and just print data. I have created a function which is print data. As we know, first statement inside the function is for documentation string. So I'm writing this is documentation string and second line I'm going to write print this is testing word. So here I have a function with the name print data and we have two statement first is optional which is a documentation string. So my function starting from this line. My function is created whenever we want to call this function, we just need to mention its name. So print data and just run it. So here we see function is called. So here I want to create one more function. This time my function name is addition. And I want to take two arguments from the user. So I mention A and B. And here, this is for addition. So first line is the documentation string. And in second line, I want to declare a variable. So that is C and just A plus B. So I just want to display the value of C. I just mentioned print value of sum is C, control S. So I'm calling this addition and I'm passing 10 and 20. Running this. And here we are getting this cannot concatenate string with int. 
So here we can see we are concatenating this string with the integer value. So to display or to concatenate the C with this value, I have to convert the C into the string format. It's very easy, like just mention str and in bracket that is C. So now I'm running it and here we can check it shows this is testing word value of the sum is 30. So as of now we have two functions. One is not taking any argument. It's just executing some code and other function is taking some argument, perform some action on that and then display result. Here one more thing that we need to understand. I'm not defining body of the function in curly braces. We are using indentation means all the lines of the function body are starting from the same point that is mandatory in Python. I'm going to create one more function that is def and I'm giving the name of the function is subtraction. And here again, this is for subtracting to values. What I'm doing, I'm taking two inputs from the user and here I am using a new variable which is C and A minus B. So this time I don't want to display it. I just want to return value. So I mention return and that is C. So I have returned the value C. Now for calling, first I'm calling print data. Now I want to call subtraction. I'm giving 150 in the subtraction result, which I'm going to get from the subtraction. I'll store into Z variable. Then I want to call addition. In addition, I have to pass two inputs. First, I'm passing Z means result of the subtraction. I'm passing into the addition and then 10. So in that case, it will execute subtraction. The result will be 50. It is stored in Z and then Z plus 10. So answer will be 60. Running it. Here we see there is testing word, which is a first function and value of the sum is 60. So we have defined three functions. One is not taking any input and not giving any output. One is taking some parameters, but not giving some output. It just take parameter, perform some action and display result. And third is taking some input and returning some output as well. One thing we need to notice like in Python, all the functions which we want to call must be defined before calling it. So if I want to call print data, so it must be defined before and then we can call it. If you take this at the start, you're trying to call this print data. So it will show some error because we did not define print data as of now. So all the functions must be defined first and then we can use them. So here we have seen how we can define function, how we can pass value, how we can return a value. In functions, we can have two kind of variables. One is local variable and other is global variable. Means variable that we have defined inside the functions, these variables are called local variable. If I'm defining any variable outside the function, inside the Python file, that is called global variable. So this global variable can be used in any of the function like I want to use here. So I can use here plus I can use same variable here as well because that was a global variable. So local variables are the variable which are defined inside the function, global variable which are defined outside the functions. Function arguments. We have three kind of arguments like required arguments, keyword arguments and default arguments. I'm going to my Eclipse again. 
here we have seen i have defined some arguments and i am passing the value to it so these arguments are called required argument keyword argument means like the subtraction want to value so i mention value of b is 100 and value of a is 50 so normally the first value i'm passing it should go to the a and second value to b but here we intentionally defined keyword keyword means parameter that we have used so i have defined value of b will be 100 and the value of a will be 50 so that is called keyword argument we are defining argument by its name i'm running it and here you will see answer is minus 40 because first it is calling subtraction subtraction is taking b is equal to 100 means 50 minus 100 will take place answer will be minus 50 minus 50 plus 10 the result is minus 40 so that is called keyword argument so we have seen two type of argument required argument and keyword argument required arguments are always passed in the same order in which they are defined but if i want to pass value in different order we can use keyword arguments keyword arguments are not much different defined in the same way but when we are calling them we can pass it by the name of the arguments third is default argument so moving to my eclipse so here in addition we have two argument one is a and other is b but for b we have defined some default value so while executing if i'm passing only one variable it will store into the a because b already have some default value so i'm running it and here we see result is minus 40 because in subtraction we have two values a minus b which is 50 minus 100 that is minus 50 we are passing minus 50 over here minus 50 plus 10 is minus 40 if i pass both the values means z will go to a and because we are passing value so default value will be replaced by this new value so in that case minus 50 plus 100 answer will be 50 in case of the default argument if we are not passing any value so default value will be used if we are passing some value so new value will be used one more thing we need to notice if i want to define default value it cannot be defined on the left side variable means it can be defined on the right side variable only so here in that case i have defined the value on the left side variable i'm passing only one value running it and here we can see we are getting some error because you have defined a default value to the left side of variable so default value must be defined only on the right side of variable if we have three argument and we want to define value for b so we can define it b and then we it's mandatory to define for the c as well because whenever we define a default value all the variables which are coming on the right we should have default value for them as well so we have covered three kind of arguments that is required keyword and default thanks for watching this video